Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So one of my castmates has COVID. Uh, so I want to talk about it because a lot has happened. Yeah, I, I just want to talk about some things with you guys. Uh, hope you don't mind. So yes, I'm currently in Cambridge and one of my castmates yesterday had a positive COVID lateral flow test, which meant that their understudy obviously had to go on yesterday was a very busy, very stressful day. I'm sure it was much busier and much more stressful for the person who had to go on understudying the person who was ill than it was for me and also for our assistant director having to like rehearse them. As soon as I got into the theatre, I came in early because one of my other housemates had a self tape they wanted help with and our company manager was just like, have you got lateral flow tests on you? And I was like, yeah, I've got some at home. And he was like, no, right now. And I was like, oh, why? Oh, yes, thank you. And um, yeah, I just had to take a lateral flow test straight away. And I was negative, luckily. So yeah, for both shows, the understudy had to go on. They were brilliant, so, so good. Then we were hoping this morning when the PCR got back that maybe the PCR would be negative, but I'm assuming it's not because the understudy will be doing the rest of the Cambridge run. So yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what's going on at the moment. This is my first show ever that even has understudies. Obviously I'm understudying one of the characters, so I'm an understudy myself, but I've never had the experience of even watching someone have to go on at such short notice. Hi, me from the editing room, still in Cambridge. Actually, that's not quite true. I have had the experience of someone having to go on last minute when I was in Into the Woods, where we didn't have understudies, but we had some illness. If you want to hear that story, let me know in the comments. I, I feel like enough time has passed to be able to tell that story. Yeah, that was wild. But actual official understudies, no, first time. Back to the video. Also ignore how bad my hair looks. It really needs a wash. I'm going to wash it today. <laughs> let alone have that experience myself. Um, you know, which, <laughs> which might happen. <laughs> but, um... It was a really interesting experience yesterday, you know, being in that environment, watching just the mix of emotions, really, the kind of confusion, the shock, the adrenaline, the excitement even, not in a, oh my god, this is so exciting, kind of, but the kind of like, not knowing what's going to happen, really. And it was a really interesting feeling on stage. The whole atmosphere, especially in the first show, so the first show that the understudy did, because yesterday was a double show day, everyone just seemed, on the whole, everyone just seemed more alert. There were a lot of people who went up into the wings to watch and support. I chose not to because the theatre we're in at the moment is very, very small. I didn't want to add to the crowding and I haven't had a lot of interaction on kind of that, that kind of level with the person who was understudying. Whereas uh, one of my castmates who does have a lot of interaction with them and has been running lines with them a lot, went up to watch in Act 1 to support. And also that person knows what it's like to understudy because they've understudied before. And it was really interesting talking to them. It's not just you panicking about, are you going to remember everything? You also want to make sure that you're being as close to as possible to what the regular performer does. So you don't throw off the other people that you're playing with, but you're also aware that you're going to do things slightly different because you're a different person. And then, especially in this show, all of the technical things that you have to do as well. It's, it's a lot and it's apparently terrifying. Talking to kind of the other understudies, having never done it before, I was like, oh, are you hoping that you'll get to go on? And they were all like, nope, <laughs> do not want to go on. Do not want that pressure. The adrenaline everyone had was very palpable. I was knackered by the end of it. I was knackered after the first show and it wasn't even me going on. Today is going to be easier in many respects because we got through yesterday and you know we know what it's like so yes that's the first thing the second thing was that it was i've quite i guess i've kind of touched on this earlier but it was really lovely to see everyone well almost everyone rallying around the person understudying like when we had our bows 
when the person under studying went on for their bow we applauded them and were like all degrees being like well done everyone seemingly kind of rallying behind this person however not everyone did i did notice one of my classmates not cap clapping until they realized everyone else was corpsing during scenes with that person because they found it funny nitpicking little mistakes and like that was really disappointing to see really even me not having ever understudied before never having had to go on as an understudy it doesn't take a lot of intelligence to realize how difficult that must be to have way less rehearsal time than the main cast to not be able to make discoveries about the character for yourself. Apparently the understudy rehearsals that we've had are way better than you usually get. Usually with an understudy rehearsal it's like on this line you move here, on this bit you've got to remember to do this, and then you go here, then you take their hand, and then on this line you do this. It's like purely blocking, no talk about why the character's doing what they're doing or anything like that. We have had a bit of that with our um, assistant director who's been rehearsing us as understudies which has been really useful, but still at the same time, it hasn't been, what do you think this character's doing in this moment? It's been like, okay, so this character is feeling this way, their motivation is to do this, so with that in mind, you have to go here on this line, blah, 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 blah. So as an actor, you don't get to discover things for yourself or, you know, any of the usual things that as an actor you would do when rehearsing a part, you're told what your motivation is, you're told why you're doing what you're doing, and you're told where to stand and where to walk and where to sit. It's a completely different thing. You haven't found those intentions for yourself. You've then had way less rehearsal time than the main cast. With all of that stuff, it doesn't take a genius to realise that, yeah, the understudy in those situations plus the adrenaline of basically it's like your first night adrenaline but everyone else is already comfortable and knows what they're doing so you're alone in that fear and that anxiety it doesn't take a genius to figure out that yeah you might get some things wrong and yeah you might stumble and yeah <laughs> you know things might not be as polished as you want to and also the fact that it's a different put person yeah playing against an understudy you're gonna get something different and that's not a bad thing i think the performances yesterday were the most present and the most in the moment that we've had on this run since kind of the very beginning of it because it was completely different because we had a different person playing one of the parts you know so the fact that this one other person in the company was so you know obvious enough that i could see it and other cast members of mine could see it so obviously not supportive of that person during what would have been a difficult day a stressful day finding out in the morning that you've got to go on and i just want to clarify that the person i'm talking about is not matthew kelly or julian clary from what i've seen of them in all aspects not just yesterday they've been nothing but kind and compassionate to every member of the company and you know it, this is there's nothing to do with them it's one of the other members of the company who um is very experienced and should know better quite frankly but i digress that was really sad to see you know i've i'm pretty sure i've mentioned it on my channel before but i work front of house you know as an usher in a theater when i'm in between acting jobs and I've done it for many years. The amount of times working front of house when covers or understudies have gone on and you've gone back to, you know, the, not the green room, what? <laughs> like the staff room, that's what it is. Like you've gone back to the staff room or you're waiting in the bar, like in the middle of the show and people have been bitching about, oh my God, she couldn't hit that note and oh, their acting is so bad. Oh, why are they even on? It's terrible. And I've defended the understudies or the covers and I've said, well, they've probably had less rehearsal time than the main cast. It's their first time on, blah, blah, blah. And some people have been like, oh yeah, you're probably right. But then other people have been like, no, they're on a West End stage. They should know better. They shouldn't be that bad, blah, blah, blah. And not saying that I'm condoning that behavior, but I've thought, well, you know, maybe you're just bitter that you're an out of work actor at the moment and you need to vent. It doesn't condone that behavior. 
but I could empathize with that. I can't understand how you can be in a company with someone, have been in a company with someone for <laughs> is approaching three months now and be so unsupportive and so nitpicky in what was a very difficult day for everyone but the person going on especially. I just don't understand that and that was really disappointing to see especially from someone as experienced as this person is and I don't really know. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing I can do about it, but yeah, and I, and I guess also, which is another thing one of my company members mentioned to me, is that when you see that they're behaving that way, or talking that way, or acting that way, about one understudy going on, it doesn't make you feel safe as an understudy who hasn't been on yet, because you're like, are they going to say the same thing about me if I have to go on? If I'm on for the very, very first time acting opposite this person, I now have to worry about, well, are they just going to corpse? They're not going to try and support me in any way. They're just going to laugh at me. I mean, I'm lucky that if I go on as an understudy, I don't really have any scenes with that person, so it's fine. But yeah, it's just not... It doesn't fill you with confidence. And... It's not even just confidence, it's just that, you know, you're in a company together, you should feel supported by your company. You know, you're not going to get on with everyone, you're not going to be best friends with everyone, but at the very least you should know that when shit hits the fan, <laughs> the comp the, your company members are going to be there for you and they're going to support you. Because that's our job. Our job is to put the show on, right? Our job is to put the show on when we can only do that if we're supporting each other and making sure that every single one of us can do the best job that we can do because we have that support and you need everyone in the company to be able to do that if it wasn't for the understudy being around to go on yesterday and go on for the rest of this week we would have had to cancel the rest of the shows in Cambridge we wouldn't have had any shows tomorrow we wouldn't have had any shows for the rest of the week we would have had to wait to see if the person who's ill is better to go on in Plymouth and then start again there. So, yeah, you need everyone. The plan going forward is obviously we all had to take lateral flow tests again today. I've already taken mine, it's negative. I'm personally just planning to take lateral flow tests every single day, probably until I'm back in London because we've got the rest of the week here, then we're in Plymouth, then we're in Richmond in London and I'll be going home, so. And to be fair, I might just carry on taking lateral flow tests for the week in London as well. I've been trying to be quite cautious, you know, wearing my mask, trying to social distance. The issue is that A, different venues have different procedures. So we've been in venues where no one back of house who actually work at the theatre has been wearing masks, but they've also had like other things like when we were in Norwich they had like this virus air filter thing I don't know what it did or how it worked but it was on backstage on stage right but then no one basically was wearing masks in the crew at Norwich in the theatre we're in quite now it's so small the stage is so small and the backstage like wing area is so small like you can't social distance and there's bits where everyone has gone off on one side of the stage and in this theatre it's like well we're all just standing right by each other and you can't wear a mask on stage so there's only so much you can really do yeah just gonna keep on taking my lateral flow tests wearing a mask where I can being safe where I can and yeah just hope that everything is okay but yeah so that's the plan and it's made it a lot more real <laughs> to be honest I haven't really thought about the implications in terms of my health and how safe doing this is I mean there's so many other factors there's the fact that we're living in digs there's a the fact that some people in the company have had quite a lot of people come and see them on multiple stops of the tour we don't know how my castmate got ill we don't know well, at least I don't know, maybe they do, but that's their business. I don't know whether they got ill from someone at another venue 
or if they got ill from their digs or if they got ill from friends that they've seen. It feels really close to home but it's hard to know whether it's like this is just a hazard of working in theatre and being in front of audiences or going into different venues and it's just like you're likely to get ill. It's a 1 in 12 chance at this point <laughs> of getting ill. Or if there's another circumstance which, because I don't have friends who've been coming to or loads of performances because I don't know a lot of people just up and down the country, I'm probably fine, you know? And also it's just, there are some people that this person in the company is closer to within the company. There's a lot of worry that of like how many people might have also been infected with COVID, but like they're not symptomatic yet, so it hasn't come up on tests and it, yeah, it's just really difficult. So we will see what happens. <laughs> Let's hope I don't get sick. <laughs> please oh god so i'm gonna leave this video here because i do need to go to the theater at some point this has been a great procrastination and event off my mind so i hope you enjoyed this video or found it interesting um yeah <laughs> just a little window into what's happening on tour and if you did enjoy this video please consider liking and subscribing would love to have you on the channel come on down we have a great time when we're not catching covid and stay tuned for more theatre content from a UK perspective and I will see you all in my next video. Bye friends!